Hello, I'm Grant from Maker's Vlog. Okay, so this is the charge controller that I am going to be using. Now, you might notice, I um, don't know how well you can see the screen, um, but there's a little uh, warning triangle and a wee bulb flashing. That's because the battery that I'm using is supplying it with enough power to part, but the battery's buggered, so it's not actually uh, getting a good enough uh, charge from it to actually use. It has a uh, voltage cutoff on it. Um, which I believe is like 11 volts, if it drops below that it stops draining the battery and um, it stops using the battery so that uh, it doesn't undercharge it. This one's already undercharged so it's not a big deal. But I just wanted to show you quickly how this worked. Um, so there is three sort of batches of connections. There is the solar panel in, um, sometimes labeled PV, uh, plus and minus, the battery in, plus and minus, and the load plus and minus. So essentially the way you wire this up, as you might imagine, you put the solar panel in here, battery in here, and then whatever you're wanting to power off the load. Um, I've seen some people who put the battery in and then run whatever they're wanting to run off the battery. Um, I think in some cases that's okay, but for the most part, you should put it through the load so that this can then control it. And in situations like this where the battery starts to deplete um, beyond a safe level, it will then stop the load from drawing any any more power from it. Um, so in the case that I'm using this, I'm going to be using this uh, fuse box. Let's get this off. And this plus and minus here is going to be connected to the plus and minus on this fuse box and that's going to be mounted in the back of the car. Now, the way this works is quite simple. You have three buttons. You have a, this one here is a load on and off. Uh, this one here is just a, a arrow for uh, navigating the menu and then this one cycles through the menus um, So let's get back to the start there. So, right. so up at the top it gives you the current voltage of the battery um, Then you have three connectors a solar panel will appear here whenever it's connected The battery here and the battery will fill with bars to indicate how full or depleted it is and then the wee um, light bulb whenever it's on steady and has an arrow going to it it then indicates that it is uh, under load and is working fine. Whenever you press the uh, cycle button, it then gives you the ambient temperature. In this case, it's 16 degrees Celsius. Um, this will tell you at what point do you turn, uh, it's called PV off, and it's 14.7 volts. And this is you, where you would set at what point you want it to stop charging the battery so that it doesn't become overcharged. And all you do is you hold in the button. Oh, let's go back. You hold in that uh, cycle button for, I believe, around five to eight seconds and it'll start flashing and then you can change what voltage you want that to stop charging up. Um, 17 or 14.7 is fine for now. And then you press the button again to, um, uh, to agree. Um, load on is at what point will it allow the battery to start draining. So in this case, it's 12 volts, it's a 12 volt battery. If it drops below that, um, it will be okay, it's, it's whenever it drops below um, 10.5 is whenever it will turn off and essentially it won't turn back up on again until it reaches 12 volts is, is what that means. Uh, that, is, um, that is a setting for the screen and you'd need to check your manual because it's different on different models. Um, I can't remember what this one is but it's uh, essentially like screen settings and stuff like that. Uh, next one, B1, that's the battery type. This charge controller is relatively smart in that it will usually pick up what kind of battery you're using okay. Um, B1 is lead acid battery, um, I believe. Let's see, I think the next one is, yeah, B3, I believe is a, is a lithium ion or, or lead, yeah, lithium ion, lithium polymer. And B2 is a different variant of, it's an open lead acid, but mine's a B1, so that's fine. And then you're back to start and that's it um, the battery types the b1 b3 b5 uh, you'd need to check your manual just to make sure what one um, which is which it'll tell you in there which one's lead acid and um, which one's whatever and um, it will also automatically detect whether it's a 12 volt or 24 volt battery and that's it and that's how you use your uh, cmdt 